sorry. I couldn't help myself. I'm Joel. Amy. Nice to meet you. I don't remember you from camp. Which years did you go to Stillwater, Amy? Uh, this will be my first. Woody Alec. Alex! <laughs> man. Oh. Dude, look who I bumped into at 7-Eleven. Jason! Cabin 10 back together, bro. It's gonna be sick. And who might you be? Oh, uh, Amy. Oh, I just love the smell of Jakar in the morning. Yo, cricket. <laughs> I guess they'll hire anyone at Stillwater these days. Wow, five short years and Blair's gone from gay to super gay. <laughs> if you want to kiss me, just ask. Have you guys met our newest addition, Amy? Hey, Yogi Bear, we're going to camp, not Yellowstone. <laughs> right, overdressed. But Yogi Bear went to Jellystone, not Yellowstone. That's a real thing. Oh, new girls got spunk. I like it. Cool. Jesse Todd, some things do improve with age. <sighs> Things all here. You're cute. Anyone want to help me with my bag? Yeah. Hey, you girl. You come? Here's the key to first days, Amy. Fit in, you'll be happier. I always say that. I just want you to succeed this time. I will. Be Drew. I miss the bus. Okay. Well, welcome. And I'm sorry, you can't smoke here. Thank you. Uh, I'm Deborah Carpenter. I'm the new camp director. I know that most of you here were campers uh, before it closed down in 84, which gives us something in common. But um, this place, it, um, well, <laughs> It stuck with me, which is why I've sunk everything that I have into reopening it. I want to make Stillwater as special for everyone else as it was for me. You can find out who you are here. You can, you can be who you want to be here. This will be the best summer. Ever. The hell are you doing? That was my trap. These are my grounds. Stay the hell out of my way. Whoa, Dave's still alive. <laughs> and so the gardener. Okay. He's very serious about his job. You mean drunk? He's like a walking bottle of shivit. <laughs> that thing better not wind up in my clothes. Okay, three short days till we open the gates and the campers arrive. So get settled in. We have a lot of work to do. That will be your lab partner for the rest of the semester. Starting a new school in the little senior year. Some bad luck. My family. Our situation changed. Well, Hunter High is a lot like Vietnam. You just got to get out alive. Now, please go introduce yourselves. Oh, boy. Margot Tate. Tough break. 
Maybe we can be friends. Aim lower. So, uh, I got you. Um, let's switch. I got some girl whose name I don't even want to know. Kind of like you. No switching. No switching. See you later, new girl. Love those ill-fitting Jordashes, by the way. So, uh, these experiments look pretty basic. We just need some good old H2O. That's water. I know what water is. You find your way back from Jellystone? How was Old Faithful? <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Thanks. Hey, Drew. No one knows anything about him. I mean, maybe he was a camper we just don't remember. I think we'd remember. Well, here's hoping he's gay. He's definitely gay. Really? He hasn't hit on me. <laughs> Cricket. <laughs> Cook it. Do you guys ever hear of Aldolfo Constanzo? Doesn't he play first base for the Mets? He's a serial killer. He just killed two dozen people, so. It says here that he murdered his victims in a satanic, ritualistic fashion. Hmm. My mom thinks that there are Satanists living on our block back home. You've been watching too much, Harald. <laughs> I didn't say that I believed it. <laughs> you guys want to hear something really scary? Hmm. Okay, well, look where we are. We're in the middle of the woods. No phones, no cars, no weapons. No locks on the cabin doors. Anyone could come in through the forest or on the lake. Through that one little gate on the main road, someone could just stroll in and kill each and every one of us. They wouldn't find the bodies for days. <laughs> Dude, I totally got it. Yeah, you got me. All right, granola bar. No, shoe. Come on. <laughs> All right. You all right? Yeah. Well, fire's dying down. Should we get more wood, or are we calling it a night? No. We're just getting started. So, you going? Not it. Not, Not it. it. Looks like it's new girl. <sighs> Go get him, Jellystone. Hey, boo boo. You can do it. Take one for the team. it'll be. You have no idea what this place is. Mark Horton's bunk. 
You gave hard on a handy? You're like 13. I know, I was so innocent then. Good morning, counselors. Today, some campers arrive and we have work to do. Let's go out there and make it a great day. Okay, let's go. Yes. How's college? Mm, it's all right. I see you and Blair are still attached to the hip. Yeah. Some things never change. <laughs> Unlike you. Who are you? I guess we uh, kind of dropped the ball on keeping in touch, huh? It happens. You guys got it from here, right? Yeah. Were you two? Friends at camp? Best friends. It's probably a hunter. Wandered too far onto our property. What kind of a hunter guts a deer and then leaves the carcass behind? Let's not get carried away. I'll have Dave clean it up. It's nothing to worry no, about. No, no. This was Dave. There's something wrong with that guy. Last night, he threatened me. He, he said I had to leave. He was scary. OK. I know that Dave can be a little off kilter, but he's harmless. Is he? You saw how he was with that mouse. Ted Bundy. Started with animals. <laughs> OK, everyone. It'll be fine. We have a lot of work to do still. Let's go. Thank you. Let's go. Amy, I gave you the ropes course. The knots can be tricky. You need some help? I could partner you up with Jesse. That's OK. I'll figure it out. So Margo, I thought we could talk about our lab work. Maybe we should make a plan. Sure. Great. So, Amy, sorry if I came off a little harsh before. That's OK. You want a chip? <laughs> Not unless it comes with a tongue depressor. <sighs> hey, look, we're about to have a big end of the year kegger. Want to come? Yeah. Cool. Great. Just one thing first. Go get this to your friend over there. Are you kidding? Come on, it'll be so funny. Yeah, maybe we should get together after school and figure out some of that lab stuff. What do you think? Is this as hard for you as it is for me? They've been friends since they were kids. How do... You go? You're just in time. We're going swimming. Oh, what you got there? Cool, thanks. Hey. I hate you. Yeah, every council's got to go in the lake. Still water tradition. <laughs> There's a legend about Lake Stillwater. They say if you 
stare long enough, the water you swirl right back at you. Now he's coming in. Let's go! Come on, Ben. Woo! Girls going in. I gotta get this on camera. Y'all can relax. It's most likely just a, a terrible accident. We still need to investigate. Animal control told me there was a dead deer found here yesterday, gutted. Its heart was ripped out. Excuse us, folks. All I'm saying is an animal gets slaughtered like Slow that, down, and then Dave you, washes yeah. up dead. All due respect, but shouldn't we figure out what's What we should do is not scare these kids. I know you want to make your mark. But this isn't the way. I'd let him handcuff me anytime. That's your type now? He's a townie. Guys, someone is dead. Uh, Miss Carpenter, I spoke with the ME team. They're prepping the body for an autopsy, and that should wrap us up. Everything's gonna be fine. Thank you both. All right, everybody, let's go to bed. Evening, deputy. Evening. Hey, Junior. Where are you going, newbie? To get water? Well, don't get axe murdered. Hey. Thanks. Sorry about that. I'm just back to check out the gardener's cabin. What happened to your uniform? Well, I'm off duty. What are you doing out here? Getting water. I couldn't sleep. Right. You're the one that found him. Come on, I'll walk you back. It's on my way. Hold on. I, I came from there. Ah, uh, you're new here, huh? Every camper knows the shortcuts. Trust me, it's this way. Wait, you went here? I thought you were. I'm a townie. It's all right. Yeah, I'm a townie. But my dad was a sheriff, and a perk of the job was free summers at Stillwater. <laughs> it's just the wind. Some of these trees are old. And dead. You're really selling me on this place. No, oh, it's great. Really. I love this camp. Hell, all my firsts were here. First girlfriend, first kiss, first everything. Everything? Well, not everything. We were kids, so first friendship bracelet and first nicknames. 
I was Townie. How original. And she was braces. Braces? Let me guess. Yeah. That one summer was pretty great. It was so great. Why only one summer? Well, my dad was killed in the line of duty in 82. I'm sorry. I don't know. They only gave free summers to the sheriff's kid, not the waitress at the diner, so I went back to being a townie. Come on. All right. This is Dave's cabin. I've got it from here, Amy. No. I want to know what happened to him. Just stay close, OK? There's nothing in here. Not out in the open. Deputy, thought you were off duty. Yeah, well, any theories on what caused it? It was electrical. These cabins have wiring from the 20s. And yet the maintenance man didn't notice that in his own home? Uh, something you want to say to me? I don't think this was an accident. Dave had this in his cabin. It's an old map of the lake. Only the person who drew it, they saw something else in this place. I mean, look at it. It looks like some kind of beast. Right there, in the heart of it, that's the camp. Someone didn't want us to find this. Suicide. Definitely suicide. No. Why would Dave kill himself? Hmm. He was a janitor at a summer camp. Nah, no, it's ignorant. True. Yep. What are you looking for, anyway? Nothing. Never mind. Dave had these pictures in his cabin of dead people. They were old. Really old. Like ten types. What was that hair? Death portraits from the Victorian era. Oh, man, that's creepy. And you know this why? Are we really not going to open camp over this? Would you rather the campers end up like Dave or the deer? No, not everything's a movie. 
All right, this isn't Rosemary's baby. No, it's more like the Wicker Man. British thriller, 1973. Cop goes to an island to investigate a missing girl. Only that's all just a con. Cop realizes that the islanders are actually occultists who want to use him as a human sacrifice for some kind of ritual. What happens in the end? Well, they put him in this gigantic wooden statue, a wicker man. Brought him alive. What the hell's wrong with you, man? What, she asked? Yeah, she was also just in a fire. I want to know what she was doing alone in the cabin with the deputy. What is that supposed to mean? You tell me. Hey, hey, chill out, you guys. Hello? Jesse. It's your mom. Way too big. Tell her you can't find me. Oh. Seriously? Anyone got a flashlight? No. Someone's gonna have to go flip the breaker, so not, not it. it. Not it. it. Guess I am again. You guessed right. Why don't you go with her, Alex? Make sure she doesn't get lost. Why should new girl have to go? Give me the flashlight. Has to be her. Camp tradition. Well, tradition calls, right? <clears throat> there you go. Watch your head. I can do it. I am it, right? <laughs> oh, man. Like you have me here to protect you from the beast of the wild. If you don't want to, it's fine. Camp Stillwater. It's reopening for the first time in five years. Be who you want to be. It's what we've been looking for. What do you even do at camp? Build fires, swim in the lake, kiss boys. We can do whatever we want. Margo. You're supposed to be studying. Are your parents in favor of this camp idea? Of course not. I'll think about it. It's just all a little scary. That's exactly why we should be doing this. Sometimes you gotta do things that scare you, right? Something I can help you with, Deputy? Just having a look around, making sure I didn't miss anything. What exactly are you looking for? Not entirely sure. Just a feeling that I have. And this feeling is worth creating a panic with my counselors? All due respect, Miss Carpenter, I'd rather speak up and be wrong than say nothing and be right. It's 
what happened to Amy last night? Why'd she just run off? I don't know. She, uh, she got freaked out. If I was alone with you, I'd run home, too. <laughs> Burn, dude. Did something happen? No. Now she's skipping breakfast. Bet you she's on a bus home. I gotta say, you look pretty hot. <laughs> Where did you get this? Spencer's. Hey, what did you decide about camp? You gotta get your application in. Marco, dinner's ready. Are you guys? What's going on in here? It's just a party, Mom. And if it were to get broken up? If you were to get caught drinking, that's it. Madison revokes Why your admission. Do you always and for do the next this? four years, you'll be sleeping here because I doubt anyone's gonna hire you without a degree. Is it really worth jeopardizing your future? How about I choose my future? If you don't listen to me, you won't have one. I'm going. I just decided I'm going to camp with you. Really? Why? For the same reason we're sneaking out to that party tonight. Sometimes you have to do things that scare you, right?
Whatever happened, I'm sure it wasn't your fault. She was supposed to be here. Don't let what was supposed to be stop you from seeing what really is. You can open your eyes. So what are you doing here? I was looking for something. Did you find him? You're not the only one who's seeing things that aren't there. paperwork to do. Go on. Have fun. Thank you. Cause I'm missing you I'm still alright to smile Girl, I think about you every day now Was a time when I wasn't sure But you set my mind at ease There is no doubt you're in my heart now Woman, take it slow, it'll work itself out fine. All we need is just a little patience. I'll never break it, cause I can't take it. You seen Deb? I need to give her the official okay to open camp, considering there's, you know, no killer on the loose. I'll let her know. Is everything all right? You have no idea who I am, do you? Should I? You tell me, Tony. Braces? Yeah. But they're off now.
There's you. <laughs> Oh wait, no, 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 no that's horrible. Why'd you go low? No, no, no. <laughs> hey, so TJ Hooker said we're clear to open in the morning. Yes! <laughs> nice. You know what that means. If we're gonna get this place ready in time, we're pulling an all-nighter. Who's cleaning the dock? Not at it! Not, not at it! it. Not, not, it. it. Not, not it! Not it! I'm it. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's all go. Come on. Let's go. Okay, Summer. What if something is making us see these things? Why are you bringing me out here? Turn the camera off. There is a network of Satan's hiding in plain sight. All new Dead of Summer, Tuesdays at 9, 8 central on Freeform. Watch the first two episodes right now with the Freeform app.